You gonna use that bench? I am. All right. I just seen you there talking all day. I was. I need a bench. There's two benches right there. Yeah, well, the person that just got off that didn't clean it, okay? And I don't want the corona, if you know what I'm saying. Wear a mask, though. What do you think this is? Well, you're not wearing it. Well. What's you doing on your wrist? I mean, you're all, you're all jacked up about corona. Jacked up on nothing, my man. Back up off. Back up off me. Welcome, everyone. I'm Spiro for ActivistPost.com. Thanks for tuning in. America's frontline workers are now receiving the COVID vaccine. It was reported that two healthcare workers who did receive the experimental shot in Alaska both experienced an adverse event minutes after taking the shot. Both were admitted to the emergency room and one was transferred to the ICU after experiencing severe adverse events, which include a rash all over the face and torso and uh, difficulty breathing. Both are expected to survive. Now, one of the healthcare workers uh, had no history of allergies. Now, this is similar to the two healthcare workers who also experienced adverse events in the UK after receiving the experimental shot, prompting the government there in the UK to issue a warning that pregnant women and children and people who have allergies to medicine, vaccines, or food to avoid the shot for now. Now, today, healthcare workers in Chicago received the COVID vaccine, and about 10 minutes later, a nurse who received the shot passed out on TV. When you woke up this morning, did you know you were going to be receiving the vaccine? I did, yes. Okay. So, you know, all of my staff, um, we are excited to get the vaccine. You know, um, we are in the COVID unit, so therefore, you know, my team will be getting first chances to get the vaccine. And I know that um, it's really, I'm sorry, I'm feeling really dizzy. I'm sorry. Now, the local media reported that the nurse did regain consciousness and appeared to be okay, and that's a good thing. She also stated that she's happy she took the shot. But remember, this is an experimental vaccine that has not yet received official approval from the government regulators. The Pfizer vaccine has only received emergency youth authorization, and the trials are still ongoing. So that makes this an experimental shot in my book, and the public are the guinea pigs. <laughs> I am Ernie's, yes. Are you here for a checkup? I am, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, please come inside. Okay, Mr. Ramis, please take the shot. Okay, thank you very much. What is that? It's the vaccine. The feed, yeah. Ah. We don't want a vaccine. The vaccine. I think you messed up your ass cheeks. Stand up, get off your feet. Stand up, get off your feet. The media ain't. 
thinking. Stop wake it. up, wake up, the ship's sinking. It's sinking. Wake Fight up. back, lace up, stop Freedom. doing it. Freedom. Stop doing it. Freedom. Foot soldiers, yeah. Foot soldiers, yeah. Stand up, get off your feet. Stand up, Come get on. off your feet. Stand up, get off your feet. Stand up. We must, I'm afraid, look again at Christmas. And as Prime Minister, it's my duty to take difficult decisions to do what is right to protect the people of this country. Given the early evidence we have on this new variant of the virus, the potential risk it poses, uh, it is with a very heavy heart, I must tell you, we cannot continue with Christmas as planned. <laughs> to hug. Get your hugsy just in time for Christmas. It's super easy to put on. I got a cheaper version. Come on, give us a hug. Or you can just stop being a maniac. Your choice really, isn't it? Clown Planet Tata. Yes, Christmas this year will be different. The holidays are here. Unfortunately, so is the pandemic. Which got us thinking. If Simply Safe Home Security can protect your home, could simply safe protect your holiday remind your family you're happy to see them but happier six feet apart the simply safe social distancing sweater happy holidays to all and to all a simply safe night the stupidest thing I ever heard of. And I'm not going to opine on limiting anything. I'm just going to tell you. Fauci, the con man, was a nasty, evil soul. With the new vaccine and a scratchy voice, spokesman of the NWO. Fauci, the con man, is apparently a saint. He made business slow when he thinks he knows. Somebody's
it's very important. The world.